Bonjour tout le monde. Thank you all for joining us. It's a pleasure to be here in Hamburg, Germany, as we conclude another successful meeting of the G20. I'd like to thank Chancellor Merkel for being a gracious host in welcoming myself, the other visiting leaders, and our respective delegations to her country. It's always a feat to host these events, and we appreciate the Chancellor's hospitality. Last time I was here in Hamburg, I gave an ad address at the St. Matthew's Day banquet a few months ago. And in that speech, I talked about the growing anxieties facing folks around the world. Anxieties around automation, growing inequality, and the rise of isolationism. I know that in Canada, we try to keep those fears in mind as our government charts a path for the future. And I'm proud that this G20 summit has been focused on addressing those very real, very universal challenges as well. Je suis heureux d'annoncer que nous venons de conclure des séances de travail très productives au cours des derniers jours. Dans le cadre de ces séances, nous avons entre autres discuté de notre objectif commun qui consiste à faire croître nos économies de façon à ce que tout le monde puisse profiter des retombées et pas seulement les 1% des mieux nantis. Nous savons qu'il y a certaines démarches que nous pouvons entreprendre, certaines choses que nous pouvons faire en vue d'atteindre cet objectif. Pour commencer, nous pouvons chercher à rendre le commerce plus progressiste et plus ouvert. Nous pouvons fièrement nous faire les champions de l'égalité hommes-femmes et de la pleine contribution socio-économique des femmes à leur communauté. Et nous pouvons veiller à ce que nos économies soient à l'avenir axées sur la croissance propre en encourageant le développement économique durable et responsable. Indeed, we agreed on the establishment of a task force on women in business, a task force that will connect leading business women all in all G20 countries and enhance networking opportunities. Further, it will make recommendations to leaders at next year's summit on how to accelerate the implementation of G20 commitments on gender equality and the empowerment of women. And finally, along that same vein, I'm happy to announce that Canada will contribute $20 million toward the Women Entrepreneurs Finance Initiative led by the World Bank. This program will help women business owners in developing countries access financing and tools they need in order to grow and sustain their businesses. Ultimately, this will lead to stronger economies, stronger communities, and a stronger world. Ladies and gentlemen, in an increasingly interconnected world, we realize the importance of partnership. We know that working together isn't just the best option, it's the only option. Indeed, it's the only way we can meet the challenges of the 21st century. So we continue our history of strong cooperation in multilateral bodies like here at the G20 for the benefit of Canada, for the benefit of Canadians, and for the benefit of the whole world.